Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how it was like going to a school with no grades for an entire year. And technically it's a year and a half, um, but who's gonna put that in the title? So essentially, for those of you new to the channel, I go to Yale School of Medicine, and the first year and a half, we have had no grades. So it's pass fail if you get like a 60% or above on like the big exam for the block, you've passed, but there are no grades, no ranking systems, none of that. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how that is, if it's good, if it's bad, and there might be some things that will be surprising. So stay tuned. All right, so first let me tell you a little bit about the system. So for the first year and a half at Yale, we just had these blocks, and at the end of every block, which is about two to three months, there's a test. And as long as you pass like 60%, it can vary depending on how difficult the exam is, but they're generally 60 to 65%. And as long as you pass, you're good to go. There are no assignments, nothing else incorporated into your grade, no quizzes or any of that. Just this one exam, and if you pass it, you're good for the block. And even if you do end up failing that exam, you can still remediate, which is basically, it varies I think a little bit, but you essentially just have to explain why the answers you got wrong were wrong, and then you've passed the block. As you can imagine, there's very low stress, there's no differentiation between a 70%, an 80%, or a 90%, they're all passing, whether or not you get a 70 or 100, neither is factored into your grade. It's just marked that you passed and you're good to go to the next block. Each block is basically split up into lectures and workshops. Lectures are completely optional and they're basically the bread and butter of what you learn in medical school. Workshops are building on that knowledge base and applying them. Some are optional, some are required. Um, a lot of times like we have ethics workshops, we have different like physiology workshops, those were required, and then there are some that are optional. So I think the major positive that I think everyone can appreciate is the lack of stress. Obviously, in other medical schools, it's like a prison, it's torture, you're studying day in, day out, you're up 3 a.m. at night, you're, you have a lack of sleep, um, just the horror stories that I hear from other medical schools. Obviously, I think a good number of medical schools are shifting away from like mandatory lectures, they're giving students a little more flexibility. So I do think the path is shifting more towards the way Yale is, but there are schools that are still strictly mandatory. You know, um, they wake up at seven, they get done at five, and it's a sharp contrast from how it is at Yale. So I think compared to a lot of different medical schools, Yale is definitely a lot less stressful. One thing that I really appreciated is that there weren't any assignments to turn in. In college, I remember just, you know, getting a worksheet and then looking up online, making sure, triple checking if all my answers were correct to get the highest possible score in my little worksheet that I was turning in for homework. And there was none of that here. I didn't have to worry about any of that micromanaging. I just needed to focus on learning the essentials and going from there. I didn't need to, you know, focus on what the teacher wanted, focus on what the class wanted from me. Um, and I was free to go at my own pace at Yale. So that was a huge positive. Another really great thing about having no grades is that there's no competition among your peers. There's no ranking system, there's no competing for grades, there's none of that. And at Berkeley, um, the college I went to, I didn't feel that competition either, but I think I might have been the exception there. I think a lot of people did experience some sabotaging, some cutthroatness. Um, I didn't see that, but just the fact that I can continue to feel like I'm not you know, in competition with anyone, I'm basically just doing my own thing. For me, I'm not really a person that likes competing when it comes to life. Like there are people comparing this person's life to this person's life. I generally don't like doing that. I like competing in things that don't matter, like a video game or a sport or something for the fun of it. When it comes to actually competing for things that matter, I'm not about that. So I'm really glad that at Yale, we don't need to do that to each other. We can just be supportive, we can share resources, we can help each other. So I think that is a really, really underrated positive at going to a school with no grades. Okay. 
I do want to mention a couple of the negatives though. I think this system is definitely not for everybody. I think, you know, there are some people that might think this system should be in every school across the country from kindergarten to medical school. And while I can appreciate that, I don't think that that's going to be the best solution. I do think that grades do give you that drive and that push and that fire to stay up at 3 a.m. at night studying or finishing that assignment or studying for that test. While if you're just, you know, you have an exam and you're trying to pass it, you're not necessarily trying to kill yourself. And there is a trade-off there. I think when you're graded, you're focusing on the little details, the things your teacher might want you to know, the things that might be on the exam. While when you're not graded and you're, you just have to pass the exam, you're not necessarily memorizing those details in the same way. And that is the trade-off, but I would much rather have the infinitely less stressful system and you know be a little slower at picking up those details rather than having this graded system that is absolute hell. So in the end, I do think they end up in the same place, but they took very different paths to get there. And really the only other negative in a system without grades is that there isn't really a strong incentive to fix the curriculum. And you might be wondering what the heck are you talking about? So give me a second to explain. So at Berkeley, when I went to a school where things were graded, you know, you're taking your assignments, you're taking your exams, and you're being graded on those. And so if a question is completely bogus on your exam, you're gonna complain about it, and a bunch of other students are gonna complain about it, and the question's gonna get thrown out. Same thing with crappy assignments that are too long or ridiculous. There are gonna be complaints and this curriculum is gonna be adjusted. Still, there aren't any grades, so if there's a dumb exam question, I'm just gonna be like, okay, I passed the exam, I'll move on. I'm not gonna fight for every little point which to change the curriculum. If a lecture sucks, we're just gonna be like, okay, whatever, let's skim through it or let's not watch it or let's not go to it. I don't think students are as incentivized to fix the crap as they would be in another school where their grades depend on it. And the thing is, students aren't gonna complain about a difference in focus. If a lecture is based more on new findings or new research than you know, the fundamentals, that's that. I mean, there's nothing to really complain about. It's just that's what they focused on. When there's no grades, the system allows for there to be some imperfections. You can skip over this group of viruses. We can focus on, um, instead of doing something with the fundamentals, we can focus on looking at this one article for an hour. And so when there's no grades, you are allowed to be a little more flexible with the curriculum. All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for the video. As you can tell, I overall do like the system and much prefer it over having grades. I think that having no grades is great for your well-being, great for your mental health, and it's just great, you know, to not be stressed out every five seconds. So in that sense, it's amazing, but there are some negatives and some drawbacks, and the system is not for everybody. But overall, I would definitely recommend, if you have the option between choosing a school with no grades and choosing a school with grades, I can tell you for sure it's a whole lot less stressful if you go to a school without any grades. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.